wind power. Right now, it's not exactly cheap. But this group of engineers hopes to prove it can be. So it's a vertical axis wind turbine, and it's called a Savonius turbine. They're volunteers with Engineers Without Borders. Their goal, to provide cleaner energy to developing right. countries. And they want to do it with this wind turbine. People who don't have electricity or access to electricity could stand to benefit immensely from just having a little bit of electric light, maybe a radio, charge their cell phone. The cool thing about our turbine is that it can be built in Guatemala. That's because their design would cost only a hundred bucks to make. How were you able to make it so cheap? Uh, just trying to come up with the, the most readily available materials that we could think of. You know, they have bike parts, they have electricity and electrical conduit, they have steel, they have pieces of plastic or canvas could also be used. So a lot of thought about what would be available in Guatemala was put into the design before we even started building. We tried to empathize and get ourselves in the mindset of what it might be like to build in Guatemala. We tried to limit ourselves to, um, to the cheapest materials we could think of. So how exactly is it supposed to work? Uh, the way it works is wind will come along and push into one of these blades and turn it, causing the turbine to spin, and the wind also passes through the space in between, increasing the spin as it catches the other side of the blade. So that's why it's not perfectly smooth all over. Exactly, that's why we have the, the airfoil shape to it. How fast does the wind have to go for it to generate anything? Uh, we're targeting uh, starting around 8 miles per hour and then reaching peak charging capacity around 15 miles per hour. They gave us initial spec of um, 15 miles per hour wind and that's certainly enough to, or we think it's enough to generate the type of electricity that they need to cover to light small LED lights or charge a small cell phone or use other small electronics. These engineers hope their turbine will replace kerosene lamps used to power the area. Getting the electrical grid run out to your little house out in the sticks is, is a big challenge, but going and purchasing a wind turbine and then setting it up on your house would be something that would be much more easy to do. They plan to perfect their prototype by early 2009 and send it over for testing. You're not only giving them a product to sell or giving them technology to sell, but also um, you know, creating jobs because people will be assembling this there, they'll be building it there, troubleshooting it, maintaining it there. In fact, the factory is already being built there, so locals can build them. The best way to, to try and have the best of both worlds is to look to renewable sources so that these developing worlds can develop but do it in a sustainable and environmentally friendly way.